The syllabus asks us to talk about the typical materials used in telecommunications, including copper beryllium, electrolytic tough pitched copper, and copper and zinc. Let's just go through them. I'll probably start with electrolytic tough pitch copper first. Its conductivity. Electrolytic tough pitch copper has 100% conductivity according to the International Annealed Copper Standard. It has got incredibly high conductivity. Why? Because it's electrolytically refined. You get a sheet of pure copper, refined copper. You then get a bath, a molten, a molten, forget molten. You get a solid copper anode that has been put in there in a bath of sulfuric acid. It dissolves, you put a negative charge on your sheet of pure copper, the copper comes across and sticks to your sheet of copper and it's electrolytically refined. The impurities dissolve in the sulfuric acid and fall out. You also want to make sure that if it's not copper, it reacts with oxygen in the liquid and falls out as a solid. You do not want oxide impurities and inclusions in this sheet of good copper. It has got, by definition, less than 0.04% oxygen dissolved in the metal, which means it does not have any oxides, it has no impurities, it is 99.9 plus percent copper. No impurities, no impediments to electron flow, high conductivity drawn into wires, rolled into sheets, used in electrical industry. Key point, remember, wire is drawn. The uh, next, ver next topic in the syllabus is copper zinc alloys. I always teach the copper alloys there is only one letter Z. Copper plus zinc, the name does not have Z in it, it's brass. So copper zinc alloys are brass. Copper tin alloys have got a Z in the name. It's bronze. So we're talking about brass. Its conductivity is 20 to 30 percent of electrolytic tough pitch copper. Brass, however, has mechanical strength due to the solid solution hardening. Brass is used for the pins on your electrical um, plugs. Could you imagine trying to get a bit of soft copper and push it in the wall socket? The first bit of him, first um, obstacle it hit, your pin would bend and fold over. Brass is used for electrical contacts. Brass is used where you need slight amounts of mechanical strength. Copper beryllium alloys we've already touched on. They are age hardening alloys. We spoke about it in personal and public transport when we were looking at your um, precipitation hardening mechanism. They have 800 megapascals yield strength, incredibly high, three times that of mild steel. They are used in springs and manufacture of springs used in electrical contacts. Where you need electricity to flow through something still, copper beryllium is the choice. If you need to have springiness and resilience and elasticity as part of your design of your electrical component. Um, Copper beryllium is also used in coal mines. It's non-sparking. Last thing you want in coal dust is to make an electrical spark. So they use it specifically for its safety considerations in mines. The disadvantage, beryllium causes cancer. So the dust off these tools, the dust when you're making this stuff, needs to be completely contained. When it's bound inside the copper, it's safe. It's only when it's floating around the air as dust.